The story begins with the protagonist lying on the ground and interacting with a large sniper rifle, thinking that everything in the world has a certain pattern. The first thing he emphasizes in shooting is the eyes. The second, no less important aspect is fingers. And the third aspect, which is also very important in this case, is breathing. And last but not least, it focuses on the weapon itself and its modules. Expectations also play an important role in this case, but they can fluctuate depending on the situation. When all aspects were perfectly matched and executed, he fired the shot and a loud sound was heard. His mentor took the target and asked in surprise if Sergeant Hahn knew he had hit the bull's eye again. He saluted his coach and said that he knew from the moment he was lying down that he would hit the target. After that, his instructor told him to finish the training. The captain wondered how many times the sergeant had missed in general. The sergeant was confused at the time, but he came up with a great answer. He said that it would be very strange to shoot every day and practice hard and then not hit a ten. The captain did not expect such a logical answer. When they were packing up the boxes, the captain asked the sergeant again that he knew for sure that he would get the highest score in shooting. The sergeant said that besides him, there were Marine Special Forces, and they had been using sniper rifles for a long time, and that they were strong opponents. The captain started throwing a box of ammunition to the sergeant, and said that it was very bad, that he was not confident in his own abilities. When he almost caught her, he said he would try his best. But a moment later, there was a very strong explosion. It was heard at a very great distance. Later, Sergeant Ha opened his eyes and very faintly heard screams. They were shouting for him to wake up. It was a very scary situation. The explosion wounded him very badly. Doctors were already running to help. He was taken to the intensive care unit in an emergency mode. His aunt was simply broken spiritually due to the severity of the situation. The news was reported on the mass media saying that a first-class soldier was wounded in an explosion at a military base. According to the news channel, it is very unwise to use old ammunition. Sergeant Ha was later discharged from the hospital, but was confined to a wheelchair. One day, he received a message about the price of the operation after the nerve was removed. He was desperate for the cost of the operation so he decided to try to restore his own strength on his own. At that moment, his body was shaking and he was in great pain. Suddenly, he could not bear the pain any longer and simply fell to the ground. But his will and strength were very strong and he still had the will to be cured. His aunt was very vulnerable and seeing him trying to hurt her was very heartbreaking. He was a military man and knew what discipline was he began to try to restore his previous strength again. But at one point when the pain was just unbearable, he seemed to teleport to another world. It was very fast. He couldn't even understand anything. Immediately after that, some big, terrible red hands began to appear from that red world, and they suddenly began to grab him. He cried out for someone to save him, and suddenly a hand appeared and caught his arm. Those red hands did not want to let him go. But the other hand began to pull him quickly away from their surroundings. As a result, he fell to the floor and, being excited and scared, said that he was alive. But as soon as he looked down, his heart almost leaped out of his chest with emotion. He simply had no legs. He was so crazy he almost collapsed. But his condition was getting worse every second, and he wondered where his legs had gone. But suddenly, that hand appeared again. It touched him, and in an instant, he froze. After that, a girl came up to him and asked him if he wanted to start walking again. And then, the girl said that if he signed a contract with her, he would be able to walk again. He asked her in confusion what she could do to make him walk again. At that moment, she showed him something that was glowing very strongly and was in her hand. It was some kind of light and very strong energy. She was reaching for him, and he was reaching for her hand. And at the moment they barely touched, 
there was a strong flash of light. And right after that, Sergeant Ha woke up abruptly. He was all wet and cold sweat was running down his face, and his brother came up to him abruptly and asked him with a smile if he had had a bad dream. When Hen regained consciousness, he was frightened of his brother, and his brother was a little surprised that Hen reacted to him in this way. The brother went on to say that Hen was very tired because he did not even notice how his brother carried him, and he was holding a football helmet. Hen did not realize what was happening. He did not even notice that he was not in bed. But his brother said that it was the most popular virtual reality game capsule, and while Hen was sleeping, he moved it. He was shocked that his brother had bought that thing and put it in his room without his permission. But my brother said he told him not to worry because his aunt paid for everything and the capsule cost ten million won. When Hay heard the price of that capsule, he shouted, How do they get that kind of money? His aunt bought it for him. They were all very worried, and his brother added that he would also be worried about a loved one and would want to help him in any way possible. The brother added that there was even money to be made in that game, and that the brother should just accept the gift. But Hen asked if ten million was a joke to them. After he said that, his brother leaned over and asked him if he didn't want to start walking again. He immediately remembered that he had just heard the question in a dream. Suddenly, his brother tapped him on the helmet and said happily that he would help Hen to walk again as long as he did not delay. And Han started shouting that the game hadn't opened yet and that he didn't understand what kind of login his brother was talking about. Suddenly, a message appears that the face recognition system is complete. At that moment, Hen felt like he was in a state of flight, and he noticed that he was without clothes. It was all very strange. He flew through virtual space at a tremendous speed, and after a while, he reached the point where the transition to the virtual world should take place. As a result, he just started falling from a great height. At that moment, his avatar was not yet fully formed. After a short fall, he landed on his feet very effectively. In the first seconds, he was just in a stupor. He had never had experience in such cases. Hen stood up and thought he had fallen from the top, but he could not figure out what the place was. When he looked down, he was even more surprised. He could not believe his eyes, for he was standing on his feet. Suddenly there was a great flash of light in front of him. It was so bright that I had to shield myself from it with my hands. And then suddenly a girl appeared, said welcome to that stranger, and that she blessed him for joining Midros. He was very surprised, because he had no idea what was supposed to happen there. He had a feeling that something was missing. Suddenly Hen realized that he was naked in front of her and abruptly took a pose to cover himself. And the girl immediately thought that all new Asians assume the same pose for some reason. The girl told him to relax, because she had seen this kind of thing a lot. Did he think at that moment what she meant? Suddenly he realized something and asked her if she was an artificial intelligence. The girl replied playfully that she was an artificial intelligence. She went on to say that in order to start a new life in the world of Midrose, she needed him to tell her his name. He immediately realized that she was asking for his nickname. He said he would use his real name and real appearance. She was surprised to hear that she could change his body and even his race, and she asked him again if he was sure he didn't want to change anything. He said that he feels confident in the body he is in and he said that he wanted to walk in the next world with his own feet. She did not argue with him and immediately agreed with his choice. That girl said she welcomed him on his first step in the new world of Midrose and wishes him everything he wants. And immediately after that, there was a flash of light and he heard a voice and the girl said that she would be looking forward to seeing him. And suddenly he appeared in the world and began to scream out of fear that he was falling again. He was falling down and bent over, for he was preparing to go to the ground. But in an instant, 
something incredible happened. Some kind of transformation. Hen opened his eyes in confusion and could not understand what had happened because he had just fallen and was now standing up. He was shocked by what he saw. The real world was around him, but he realized that this was not the real world, but just a game. Hen looked at his hands and thought that this was another chance for him. He realized that he and his character were one, because he had not changed anything about himself. He recalled a conversation with that girl, how she asked him if he wanted to change his appearance, or his face, or even his race. He recalled that he told her that he was not going to take a selfie, so he did not need to change his appearance. Then the girl asked him where he came from, that he had such groundless self-confidence that he looked like a very arrogant narcissist. He emotionally replied that it was not that. Then he looked at his hands and said that he just wanted to feel his own body again. His body can walk and is complete. He was pleased and began to stretch a little and prepare to test his body in the new world. He started to take the first step and thought that in reality he could not afford it. There was a lot of enthusiasm in his eyes. He thought that in that world he could even run. He also thought that he did not think he would be so happy just because he could move. Suddenly someone spoke to him, and he said, Isn't it so hurtful? Hen turned abruptly, and the stranger continued to say that he had never met such a sincere stranger in Kundal Castle. He went on to say that he is the one who helps newcomers adapt to the new world. Then Hen looked at him closer and realized that he was just a simple non-game NPC character. Hen asked that NPC what he needed to know to adjust to the world of Midrose, since it was his first time there. The NPS was immediately happy. He said that he would first tell him about the things to be careful about. He started to speak and asked Hung if he knew that people cannot run forever, and if he does not rest well, he will not be able to move again. Hen listened carefully and realized that he was talking about endurance. NPS said if he understood, he would continue. He pointed at the girl and asked Heng if he could see her. 109. That guy said that he was going to come up to her and start hitting on her. Hen immediately threw him to the ground and started calling the police, telling the guy that it was not legal. The guy did not contradict him and immediately said that he was giving up. He stood up and said that Hen was good, because it was really not legal, because in the city of Midros there is common sense, and if Hen commits a crime, he will be expelled from the city. The guy said that was exactly what he wanted to explain to Hen. Hyen realized that if he had been forced to start hitting on that girl, he would have been kicked out of town anyway, and he thought that he hadn't even had time to train and almost got into trouble. The guy said that Hyun was good and that he was taking everything in his stride. Then he said that Hyun should go to the Northern Training Complex because his next lesson would be there. After saying that, the guy started running away and Hyun wondered if there was anything wrong with the game. He decided not to jump to conclusions and began to look around to see which way he should go. Very quickly he realized in which direction he needed to go, and at one point he started running joyfully and very quickly in that direction. He was overwhelmed with happiness that he could again move fully and go wherever he wanted. What happened to him in reality was a real nightmare, especially now he realizes this very well. The other inhabitants of that world were surprised when a boy ran very fast by them. They were surprising, because no one in that world behaved like that. But it was a game, and it can have very different personalities. Subsequently, Hen received a message about the acquired passive skill, Initial Runner, which had certain bonuses, that he had less stamina and increased running speed. He immediately thought that this was very good because he had run and would not have much. He decided to run further, to gain even more skills. A little time passed, and he arrived at that place, and for some reason it seemed familiar to him, 
and the group's logo was also familiar to him. When he went inside, he saw that there were other people who were training hard with wooden opponents. He also received his first wooden sword, which was an unforgettable experience. The mentor who was assigned to that place gave emotional instructions. He said that it did not matter if they had martial arts skills, because as long as they have a desire to keep Midros in the city, the god of battle will guide them in the right direction. And the boy Hen began his own training, under the guidance of a wise mentor. After many strokes, his wooden sword simply began to emit smoke due to the strain. Heng noticed that his body was moving by itself almost all the time, and he figured it must be an auxiliary combat system, and the wise mentor kept shouting for them to keep hitting. He noticed that the other players were behaving strangely, as if the combat system was playing with them. The players were fighting with each other because one of them hit the other, but one player said that it didn't matter because it wasn't his body anyway. Suddenly, Hen decided to imagine that this was a real fight and got very serious. He decided to try to attack in full force, and suddenly he made a very strong blow. The blast wave was going to be strong. He himself was very surprised at what he managed to do. It was so strong and spectacular that the other players immediately paid attention to the blow and were shocked by what they saw. The other players said that the scarecrow was dead. They asked each other how he managed to do that. Other players also said that this guy seemed to have the strongest critical strike of them all, but they didn't understand how that could be because he came in last, and Han himself didn't know how he managed to do that. The players asked him to tell them how he did it. They asked if he had used the skill he had just learned. Hen was confused and didn't know what to tell them. Immediately after that, he received a new achievement, Initial Critical Strike. The peculiarity of that strike was that the force increased by 100 and 130 percent per second, while using 30 units of energy and recharging such a skill for 10 seconds. There was also a message he was congratulated that he was able to master the basics of combat and did not make a single mistake. But they said that he should not be too overconfident because for every strong skill there is another skill of the enemy that is of equal strength. Hen agreed with the message that he did not need to stand out too much. Suddenly, the girl he had seen from the very beginning appeared saying that they had met again and that he needed to choose a profession. Hyun told her that she was talking as if they hadn't seen each other for a long time, but in fact, not even one day had passed. She noticed that Koreans are the most active, that they play all day long. She said that in any case, he should choose some kind of weapon. He was confused, and she told him that after he chose, the program would be transferred and added that he should choose carefully. Hen couldn't get it together and said that he didn't think there would be so many weapons to choose from. The girl sadly said that some players can't decide what to choose all day. He thought that maybe he would choose that magic staff. To secure the choice, he only needed to grab that weapon. As soon as he started to reach for the magic staff, the girl called out to him, and he stopped. In a moment, another weapon appeared in front of her, and she told him to choose slowly and carefully. She again emphasized that he should take his time, and at that moment, some other girl appeared behind her. She had horns and looked angry. In fact, that invisible girl was watching him from the very beginning, but he did not see her. As a result, Hen became even more confused and began to look up. He thought that it was a musket and that it was a completely different weapon than the one he had originally wanted to choose. When he started reaching for it, the girl asked him if he knew what kind of weapon it was. Hen said that he did not know the exact model, but he knew that it fired lead bullets and that it appeared in the late 18th century. The girl immediately began to praise him, saying that he was the smartest student at Castle Kendall and that he had said everything correctly. When he looked closer, 
he was amazed, for the musket had a real lock. He also said that he thought that the musket could take lead and metal bullets. Hen asked the girl if he could shoot it once. She said that of course he could, and in a moment all the necessary components appeared in front of him to make the shot. When he began to reach for those objects, he thought that realism should be in moderation. And instantly, he gathered his strength and thoughts. Hen was looking forward to the moment when he would be able to make a shot. At that very moment, the combat assistance system was activated. Immediately afterwards, he very quickly began to do the right thing. He was loading the gun with incendiary powder. He poured the remaining powder into the muzzle and then put an iron bullet into the muzzle. The next step was to press down with a breech loader so that the bullet would fit snugly into the powder. Suddenly, he threw the weapon on the ground and fell to his knees. He could not believe that it took a whole minute to load the weapon, and he was also very annoyed that the weapon weighed so much. The case of the musket was a real test for him. He gathered his strength and decided to try to shoot. He said that if he hit the target from 40 meters, it would be a real victory for him. After a second of aiming, a very loud and powerful shot was heard. The recoil of that weapon was very strong. The bullet flew at breakneck speed in the direction of the target. Hen was confused. He hadn't expected so much smoke to come out of the gun. When the smoke began to dissipate, it became clear that the target was not damaged. He was very disappointed because he did not hit the target at 40 meters. That girl laughed at him a little and asked him if he had read the instructions for that weapon. Because at 40 meters, 50% 50 of shots do not hit the target. After a moment, he said, in a determined voice, that he would try again. He set about preparing for the second shot with great zeal. One minute passed again, and Hen was tired of preparing the musket. He was even more frustrated and asked if the thing was really made to shoot. And the girl thought that for a beginner, one shot per minute was good enough. Suddenly, Hen decided to ask, what about the other weapon that has a long-range class? He decided to look at a short bow. Its attack power was from 15 to 30, and the range was 50 meters. The attack rate was 15 shots per minute. He also looked at the long bow. Its attack power was 19 to 38, and the range was 65 meters. The attack rate was 12 shots per minute. And he also looked at the crossbow, its attack power was from 30 to 60, the range was only 30 meters, and the attack rate was 7 shots. He was very disappointed, because although the musket had a very high attack force of 233, it only fired one shot per minute and had a range of only 40 meters. Hen said that if he hit, he would live, but if not, he was dead. He asked the girl if these were not too difficult conditions, and she replied that it was all done for the combat assistance system. Hen asked if it was possible to exclude that system because the musket needed to increase the range of attack and because the probability of hitting would increase. But the girl, like a robot, said the same thing again, that it was necessary to maintain the balance of combat assistance. Suddenly, Hen realized that perhaps the system could not give him an answer to his question and that he had to find a solution himself. He decided to learn the information gradually, and he also thought that it would be great if he could increase the rate of fire to 10 shots per minute and have 80% of the shots hit the target. Then it would be a great weapon. But now he has decided to get out of the game. The girl said, that it was not possible to leave during the class change. Hen shouted at her to let him go, and she kept telling him that it was possible to leave only after choosing a class. Hen thought that he couldn't even figure out which class would be the best for him, that the game was too realistic. He was very confused because he didn't know what to do, and he remembered that he wasn't playing for fun, but needed to earn money. He almost fainted from the exertion, 
but after a moment he said that he had decided to say goodbye to the musket. But the girl asked him what about other weapons, like a staff and a stick. Hen had already reached for the rod and said that he would probably choose it, but in a moment he seemed to be thrown into some space and began to fall rapidly, screaming in fear. In reality, he was all wet and behaving strangely. His mother was talking to him to come to his senses, and suddenly she took off his helmet and started asking him how he was feeling. Hen said everything was fine, but he didn't understand what happened. She went to the wire and said that he was moaning so strangely, and she decided to take the wire out of the socket, and he woke up immediately. His mother asked him again if he was okay, and he said that he was. But he said that next time she should press the call button first if she wanted to wake him up. In a moment, his mum said, that she was leaving and that he should rest. And Hen thought, at that moment, that this is definitely a profitable game, only he needs to choose the right class. Suddenly he remembers that he did leave the game by force and that girl said he couldn't leave until he chose a class. Hen seriously wondered what had become of his class. He went to a forum and started reading different cases of people, many of whom had this situation, but the conclusion was that after this you may need to wait three to five months. Hen was shocked that it might be necessary to delete a character and wait so long. He thought that everything would be fine, because he definitely had the staff of a magician in his hands, he just needed to enter the game. At the same moment he decided to enter the game, and again he felt that he was falling. With a loud shout, he fell to the ground, and began to cry, because he had become a musketeer after all. Did the other players think he was crazy, or was there even such a class as a musketeer? But in a moment, just like in real life, he pulled himself together and said that he would be the best musketeer because he was not sick. What's in deleting a character and waiting three months? Hen decided to test the skills and was again disappointed because he was given the wrong skills. The first skill was a passive musketeer skill, where the speed and accuracy of the musket would improve over time. And the second skill, beginner's musket and sword attack, is recommended to be used last, because it consumes energy, which is already low. He was disappointed to think that if he fired and missed, then he would need to use the sword skill, but then it would not be a musket, it would be just a spear. At that moment, a man remarked that he hadn't seen musketeers for a long time. Hen thought it was definitely some kind of NPCs. He was already very angry. The stranger advised him that he should catch a rabbit next. He was given a task, accepted it, and said that he would try to complete that stupid task once. A little time passed, and he found a rabbit in the forest. In parallel with him, other players performed the same task or other tasks. He looked carefully at the rabbit and said that it would be his first victim. He quickly sat down and started preparing, while the rabbit didn't realize what was happening, and Hen quickly performed all the necessary steps to make the shot. About a minute later, he was ready. He thought he needed to calm his breathing. Everything is ready, and he fired a shot. There was a very loud sound. He shouted that the rabbit got a bullet. It seems... He just jumped into the fight from a loud sound, and the bullet flew quite far from him. As the wonder dissipated, Hen wondered if he had hit. He could not believe if he had missed, because it was a distance of thirty-five meters. Suddenly, the rabbit stopped and looked very carefully at Hen, and his eyes began to glow red. At that moment, Hen realized with certainty that he had missed, and the rabbit was very serious. Suddenly, the rabbit started to attack. Hen was panicked. He quickly began to reload his musket. At the very last moment, he was forced to stop reloading, and with a sharp blow of his musket, he threw that rabbit away. At that moment, he thought that while he was reloading, a rabbit might kill him. So he decides to make the right decision. At one point, he simply made every effort to escape. A few moments pass, and he decides to see if he is far enough away from that rabbit, 
but when he turned around, he noticed that the rabbit was twenty meters away and running at a very high speed, Hen was very scared and immediately remembered the realism of the game, that they had forgotten about it. As the rabbit approached, he began to prepare a super kick, and very suddenly that rabbit gave him that super strong blow. The force of the blow and the speed of the rabbit multiplied, and as a result, the damage was as if someone had shot Hank out of the sky. The other players were surprised. They said that if he was caught by a rabbit, he would end the game. And they also saw that he used the musket as a sword, which means he had little energy, and another man thought he was a magician, and that the musket was a staff. He was hiding from the rabbit's blows, and wondering how he could get out of that situation. And at the last moment, when he had little energy left, Hen screamed very loudly. For a second, the rabbit stopped, because he was confused by Hen's shout. With the last of his strength, Hen threw that rabbit very far away with a strong kick. He was very exhausted and said that with that musket, you can not only shoot, but also hit. A little time passed, and Hen encountered the rabbit again. This time he was more courageous. But the rabbit was a little different. It was more agile. And in a moment, Hen was hit by the rabbit's strong paw. The rabbit shot very well right on Hen's chin. The rabbit's blow sent him flying backwards. In a split second, he's thinking about how to counterattack. He had the good idea to strike the rabbit's head with his musket. In that situation, the other players were discussing whether he could catch that rabbit, and they were also surprised to see Hen's fighting style, because they saw that he had a musket, but he used it in a completely different way. Later, he managed to catch the rabbit with the long-range weapon. He could not believe that he would face such great difficulties in close combat as a result of a miss. Hen gathered his strength and decided that it was not suitable for a musketeer to catch rabbits in close combat. He had just been lucky enough to see a girl defeat the same rabbit quite easily. He thought it was some kind of discrimination, so he decided to shout that he would not lose to anyone, not even to that system. He left the game and began to study information about the musket and how to handle it properly, and most importantly, how to shoot it. He figured out that it was possible to increase the distance to 350 meters, but he needed to make the bullet smaller. Hen went a little crazy. He thought that maybe until he learned how to use a musket and reload it quickly, his main weapon would be a stick. At that moment, his mother came in and brought him something to eat. His mother noticed that he was in a good mood and that it was probably because of the fruit. Because of the fruit. His mother went to bed and told him not to stay up late. Hen decided that it was not the time to think about anything else but to make money. Unfortunately, he can't become a prosecutor, but he will. He will become a musketeer who will earn very well. He thought that if he could collect 20,000 gold coins, that would be two million won in real money and he would be able to walk again. Later, the other players who were in the forest hunting rabbits were surprised to hear a very loud sound. They said that there were muskets in that world. Hen practiced reloading his musket faster, and those players wondered what he was doing there. They thought he was filling the musket with energy. Almost a minute passed, and Hen was relieved to think that he had managed to reload three seconds faster. The other players were surprised that it took so long to reload. They said that in that time they could have caught another rabbit. They also said that he wasn't even looking for rabbits, he was just shooting at a tree, and they thought Hen would soon finish playing that game. He thought that everything was going as he expected. He was planning to create a series of shots and had to improve his accuracy. He also noted that the destructive force is just what is needed. Hen opened the menu to look at his stats and thought he had 23 bullets and a powder capsule left. Now he needs to enter the real battle. A little time passed, and he found a rabbit. He thought that this time he would kill it with one shot. Before the shot, he calculated that the rabbit was 130 meters away 
and that an easterly wind was blowing at a speed of five meters. At the last moment, the rabbit turned sharply in his direction because it sensed some danger. At that moment, Hen jumped out of that bush and quickly took aim, and in a moment he fired a shot, and a loud sound was heard. As the smoke from the shot cleared, he had a good feeling that he had hit the target. But when the smoke cleared, he noticed an evil rabbit, and his shot only scratched it. The rabbit quickly went on the attack, and Hen said in frustration that it was the same again and began to fight back. The rabbit flew very far away from that blow, and Hen managed to reload his musket again and shoot, and this time he hit the target. He was happy, although a little tattered, but he managed to hit the target from a hundred meters away. At that moment, he started to receive messages about new achievements. He happily reviewed them, and there were very good improvements in strength and speed. But along with those messages, he was told that his musket could not fire at the moment, and he was not finished with those rabbits. Therefore, with tears in his eyes, he went on the attack and said that he would use weapons as he pleased. Other players said that the guy who fights rabbits with a rifle butt was back, and they couldn't understand why he wasn't using the weapon as intended. A little time passed, and Hen fell to the ground, disappointed. He thought it would take him two minutes to reload, and only eight seconds to catch the rabbit by hand. Immediately afterward, he was blessed to a new level. The other players praised Heng and congratulated him on his new level, saying that he beat those rabbits with great zeal. When Hen walked through the city, everyone talked about him. They said that he was called a blood-stained butt, and Hen himself decided that he would go on the quest again. But before that, he needed to buy some things. He went to the man who had taken the quest, and the man proudly said, that Hen had stood up to the fearsome rabbits, and would he do the quest again? Hen said he would not do that quest again. A plaque immediately appeared with the reward that Hen had earned fifty copper coins and improved relations with the police in the castle. He was happy because it was his first money, although he still needed to earn a lot more to reach his goal. In addition, there were eleven rabbit skins in his bag, he came to an eatery where he was very surprised to see a giant, and the woman was the owner and said that she needed such skins. She offered him seven copper coins for one skin. Immediately afterwards, she offered a job for Heng. He asked what he would have to do, and his aunt said it was obvious that he would have to get meat for her establishment. She praised his work, and the task said, that he had to deliver five more white rabbit skins and one black rabbit skin. He had seen white rabbits, but he had never seen a black rabbit, so he asked her what kind of black rabbit was it. She emotionally told him that she had never seen one herself, but people say that they definitely exist and that they taste just as good. She began to advise him even more fervently on how to catch them, telling him to hang the bag on a tree so that the rabbits would smell it. But she added that he should not waste time looking during the day because they only come out at night. Suddenly the aunt caught him close and threatened him not to lie to her because she would cut him to pieces. Hen was very scared when he noticed the kitchen knife was bigger than a sword. Immediately afterward, he decides it's time to buy bullets and gunpowder and heads to the gun store. The salesman counted everything that Hank needed and told him that he needed to pay one silver coin and twenty-six copper coins. Hen was shocked because it was very expensive. He asked the NPC why it was so expensive. The NPC replied that it was because there were very few musketeers in their area. Hen was very disappointed because everything was very complicated. He said that he came to that game to make money. And how can he make money with such prices, when one shot costs 18 copper coins? That NPC recommended him another gunpowder that could be bought on the black market. It was cheaper, 
but it could explode at any time. Hen was thinking about the situation and thought it was stupid, because with these rabbits he was losing money. He was thinking, what would be more profitable to catch them, or to shoot them, or to hit them with a rifle butt? At that moment he remembered that terrible giantess woman that she would definitely notice that the meat was mutilated, to use an example. Hen, with tears in his eyes, gives the money for ammunition and guns. He has one silver coin left. He bought seven bullets. But Han decides to ask the man if he needs any help or if he has any work for him. The salesman said that he would not entrust any work to someone who was too cheap to buy seven capsules. He thought that he really wished he could have chosen a magician, because you don't have to pay money to be a magician. He also wondered why he didn't want to give him any task. The boy thought about it. He analyzed the previous two tasks and realized that there are certain conditions that must be met to get the quest. In the case of the police captain, he noticed that Hen was very diligent and that Aunt noticed that he had skins. But he could not take the task from that cellar, so he needs to meet certain conditions. In a moment, he felt very hungry and that his strength was weakened, but the game was very realistic. And now he also needed to think about food. A boy was passing by another store and thought that maybe eating a bun would be enough. He opened the door in embarrassment and said, Hello. Hen politely said that he wanted to buy some buns, but the girl said that they were closing, but she would sell him some buns. He thought, what would he do if he didn't have time? Now he will know that if the sun has set, you can't buy anything. He needs to choose something quickly. He took a good look at what was there and thought that for some reason, everything there would be expensive. Heng asked her sadly if there were any buns left for one coin each. The girl replied that they hadn't been able to bake enough buns because the rabbits had eaten a lot of the wheat. He immediately realized that the girl, being an NPC, was talking about some difficulties, so maybe she wanted something. Perhaps he should take advantage of her lack of torment. Hen confidently began to tell her that he had killed some rabbits on behalf of the police commander, and he offered to exchange the rabbit meat for buns, saying that it was beneficial for both of them. The girl politely but a little angrily told him that he was the twentieth person to come with such an offer. She added that rabbits reproduce quickly and that it would not help her much, and if she continued to make such exchanges, her shop would go bankrupt. Hen thought, why is that girl so smart? Hen decided to press her and told her that he was different from the others because he also had an errand to run for the woman at the bar. He said he had to find a black rabbit. After these words, the girl seemed to freeze and said quietly, the name of the rabbit. But after a moment, she laughed and said that it was a joke because someone who has the ability to catch a black Angus rabbit would definitely have money for the best buns. And she immediately apologized for being so blunt. After she said that, Heng took out the bag and told her to look at it, and that Miss Lu had given it to him. He covered his nose to avoid smelling the terrible odor. The girl begged him to take the thing away from her, and she had no doubt that Mrs. Lu had given it to him, and she said that he must be a real skilled worker to be entrusted with such a task. And a moment later, the girl asked if she could ask him for something. Hen was mentally satisfied because his plan was successful. She said that there was nothing special in her request, that he would be able to perform his main task and her task at the same time. She offered him a quest to collect supplies that was life-threatening, requiring very rare herbs that grew near the place where the black rabbits lived. He needed three pieces of that spider grass, and the reward was thirty copper coins for one blade of grass. Hen was confused thinking that if the game developers were crazy, the NPCs were too, because how could he risk his life for some spider grass buns or just thirty coins? But the girl asked him if he could do it. Hen asked her excitedly what she meant 
when she said the name of the rabbit was Black Angus? Or did she mean Black Rabbit? The girl said that it was a black rabbit and that there are legends that other rabbits went crazy because of the black rabbit. She also told me that the Black Angus named him that way because of his formidable stature. When she talked about the rabbit, she was a little embarrassed. Hen said that he wanted to help, but there was one thing. He meant that he was very hungry and that he would not have the strength to do the task being so hungry. Then the girl understood and boldly said that he was asking for bread. But suddenly, when she was about to give him the bread, she stopped and asked if he would run away with her bread. Hen gave her his word that he would not run away. But that girl showed him additional clarifications. He had to complete that task in twelve hours. If he completed it, he would get a lot of bonuses and improve relations with all the NPCs in the castle, and if he did not complete that task, the relations would deteriorate greatly. The girl said she would give him buns and wished him luck. Hen thanked her and said he would do his best. When he left the place, the girl looked at him, and Hen was upset because the bread was very good, and he had to try harder now. Suddenly, he was happy because he had gained a new skill, a first-level bargaining skill. He walked down the street and ate that bread sadly, thinking about how he could fulfill that task. Suddenly, he turned abruptly because he heard someone calling out to all those who were looking for the black rabbit and wanted to catch it. Hen immediately asked them if he could go with them. The players responded by asking him what his profession was. He thought about it for a while and answered that he was a Marxist. They started saying that Hen looked very weak and that he could hardly help them because that black rabbit was a very strong boss. They told him to look for another group. Hen was surprised to hear them say that if they died, they would not be able to complete the quest and that it would be safer for them to find a stronger player. He was surprised to hear this because he did not have such conditions, so Hen asked them what kind of quest they were doing. One player said that they were collecting rabbit hair, and he added that the quest had nothing to do with him and that he should go somewhere else. Hen thanked them and thought they had a different quest, but they were very rude to him. He began to think about it, and now he received information that there are currently quests for meat, herbs, and wool, only three quests, and he would have to get four quests before level ten. According to his calculations, one bullet per rabbit, he had twelve hours left. He gathered his thoughts and happily said that he was starting to fulfill the task. In a short time, he managed to get three more tasks related to the black rabbit. A clothing store needs wool, a gun store needs claws, and a jewellery store needs horns. He was happy because he managed to find three more tasks, so he raised the level of the bargaining skill, and now when he kills that rabbit, he will complete five tasks at once. Now he was definitely ready, but he realised that the level of difficulty had increased dramatically, and he had four hours left. Later he came across some ordinary rabbits and began to eat them one by one. Heng was a little tired, but he managed to reach the fifth level, and his performance gradually improved. He looked at the musket and thought that he had used the butt very actively, and it was in a bad condition. He realized that if his musket broke, he would become a poor man. The moment he leaned over to his backpack, he heard a very loud scream not far from him, and he froze. He looked up and noticed the players he had been talking to in the castle. They were shouting to start as soon as possible. Because they might die, another player was shouting that it was too early and they needed to attract the rabbit's attention. They were very confused. One of their comrades was killed. The one who was supposed to treat him did not have time to save him. But they managed to attract the rabbit's attention. They were scared, shouting that this was a quest for beginners. One of them shouted that he was going to attack. Hen watched them in amazement, thinking that this was a magic attack. They were shouting for one of them to start healing them and for the other to start attacking. 
They were being attacked by that big black rabbit, and one of them was taking the attack, and the others were helping him and healing him at the same time. The mage girl attacked with fire attacks, and the other was a magical doctor. Hen watched and analyzed that battle with interest. He noticed that they could attack at twenty-second intervals, which is very fast compared to his one-minute reload. A few moments passed, and the one who took the attack was killed. That rabbit was very large and formidable, gradually approaching, and the two remaining were in a stupor. Now Hen saw that Angus Black, he thought he needed to analyze everything and sort out the situation. And in a moment, the two began to run away, and the huge rabbit began to chase them. At the same moment, another Angus Black, a black rabbit, stood next to the player's body. Hen was very confused. He could not understand anything, he thought. Are there really two rabbits? He thought that with this rhythm he would soon go crazy. At that moment, the players who were yelling were saying that if you die before the fifth level, your level decreases. Hen was saddened to think that his back hurt from the blows of ordinary rabbits and that he would surely break something from the blow of the black giant. He panicked because he didn't think the rabbit was that strong and he didn't have much time left. He calculated that if he failed the task, he would lose 10% of the good relations with each person with whom he had made a contract, which would be minus 40%, and he would not be allowed into the castle at all. But he has no choice, because he is a musketeer and will fight with the right weapon. If he can get a good shot, he can kill one rabbit with the first shot. And he can do just that, because the game world is very similar to the real world, so all his skills were transferred to that world with his body. Hen shouted sharply that the characterization window would open and that all the remaining points would be transferred to agility. His intelligence was at 55, and now he's got another 25 points to add to that score. The two men kept running around in circles, and two rabbits were running behind them and did not want to leave them behind. As those black rabbits were running, they noticed something on the side. Hen shouted at them to run to him. He was preparing for a fight. He thought that by the ninth level, he only needed to improve his agility so his attack power would improve as well. He crouched down and began to load his musket. He had to kill one rabbit with one shot, because if he didn't, he would surely die. All he had to do was load the weapon and insert the bullet. Meanwhile, those players kept calling for help. Those players turned around and started running in his direction, and he shouted at them why they were running towards him at once. Hen was very angry and told them to split up and run in different directions. The girl magician shouted in a panic that he should not be like an idiot, and if he decided to save, then to start saving. The girl started saying that Hen was weak because he was hiding and only talking, and she asked him what he was doing and if he wanted to come out of that hiding place and help them. Hen was shocked by this attitude and even thought of shooting her instead of those rabbits, but he pulled himself together and thought that he would succeed. He reassured himself he just had to wait for the target to reach the right distance. He was sitting behind bushes and large stones, waiting for the right moment. In a few moments, the two players were eighty meters apart. At the same moment, the rabbits were five meters away and were quickly catching up to them. Those players had little strength left and were slowing down with each passing second, while the rabbits kept advancing. With fifty meters to go, one of the rabbits almost got the doctor. At that moment, he was already on the alert and was watching everything closely. Immediately after that, the doctor was knocked to the ground and the other rabbit was preparing to attack that screaming girl. At that very moment, Hen pulled the trigger and fired. In an instant, there was a very loud sound and a pillar of fire erupted from the muzzle of the musket. That bullet flew very close to the girl's head and it even cut through her hair. The girl turned back, frightened, and noticed that the rabbit had been abruptly thrown back. She was shocked. 
because she noticed a hole in the rabbit's head, and she thought, Is the rabbit dead? The doctor player was able to continue running away. He was completely panicked, and the mage girl was in a stupor from what had just happened. But the black rabbit who was chasing the doctor managed to catch him with a nimble jump. He started screaming very loudly, and the girl was very scared. She stood there and didn't know what to do. She was in a state of fear. She didn't know whether to run away or try to help the player and the doctor. Suddenly Hen caught her by the hand, and she came to her senses. He started pulling her side and saying, Why did she just stand there? At that moment, that black rabbit started eating that doctor player. Hen continued to run away and drag that girl with him. He said, if they didn't run away, that rabbit would start eating them too. He was also very confused about what had happened and was wondering when he could start reloading. And that girl could not forget that moment. She thought that she definitely saw Han kill that rabbit with one shot. She also thought that maybe he had a very high level. When they were running away, Hen thought he could help the two of them. He didn't think that guy would be eaten so quickly and that girl was wondering who Hen was. But the most important thing for him was to run as far as possible to be able to reload his musket. Suddenly the rabbit kicked the ground very hard, and the earth vibrated violently. He stood up and roared like a dragon, very loudly, a very terrible and frightening roar. Hen and that girl kept running away, and when he heard that roar, he was scared. Suddenly he turned back and was horrified to see the rabbit running after them. They were running as fast as they could, and they didn't even notice that someone was standing in front of them. It was some girl. She pointed her hand in their direction. She could fly, and there was blue energy around her. But the magician girl suddenly noticed that someone was standing in the distance. She was very surprised. She quickly jumped on Hank and yelled at him to lie down. Hank didn't understand what she was trying to do. At that moment, some kind of matter began to emerge in that girl's hand. And literally in an instant, large ice rods were formed around it. They were very sharp. Just as the mage girl and hen were falling to the ground, those ice rods flew forward at high speed. That rabbit noticed some objects approaching and stopped abruptly. And the next moment, huge ice rods pierced the rabbit in several places. And the mage girl fell on hen and covered him with herself. That rabbit could not move any more, and although those rods did not pierce it like Hen's bullet, that ice began to freeze that rabbit. Did the magician girl say to Hen to tell him his name quickly? Of course Hen asked her why she wanted to know his name. She began to prepare a fiery attack and told him to say his name quickly so that she could include him in the team and thus repay him for his salvation. Hen quickly told her, what his name was, and she proceeded to develop firepower to attack. She also said that she had put him in the group. In a moment, she had a big fireball in her hands, and the rabbit was frozen and unable to move. Her power as a magician was very strong, and she shouted with great zeal that the rabbit should die and began to attack it. Suddenly, the fireball split into very fast streams of fire, which flew very quickly toward the rabbit. The fire mage was very powerful, and the rabbit caught fire from that attack as if it had been caught in a fiery tornado. They all stood and watched it burn. Hen said that they caught a rabbit, but only one. He thought that nothing would be left of the burning. At that very moment, he got a new level. It was very good. Hen decided to ask if there was anything left of the burning rabbit. But while he was talking, he noticed that the girl had already started to search the black rabbit that was on fire. Hen asked her in surprise if she wanted to take what was left of it. The girl replied that of course she would take it all, because she had struck the last blow. Hen asked her angrily, where was his reward? In response, the girl pointed to another rabbit lying further away, the one he had killed. She looked at him and said that it was only fair. Hen realized that, 
and headed for the other black rabbit, but it looks like those girls started to follow him. When he was able to collect the wool, meat, claws, and eyes, he continued walking, but he wondered why those two girls were following him. The two girls approached, and the magician girl said her name was Ramwen, and the other girl said Ramwajon. Hyun replied that he did not ask their names. Ramwen asked Hyun in surprise that he didn't know the girl from Hong Kong, the ice mage. He responded by asking if they knew Hen from Korea. The fire mage girl asked who he was. Hen smiled and said that they did not know him and he did not know them and that they could go their separate ways. After saying that, the girl stopped and Hen waved and thanked them for their good hunting. Ramhaven was very surprised by his behavior. She could not forget how Hen had killed the black rabbit with one shot. But suddenly, another girl, Ramhwajan, pointed to the side and said that the grass was Puwak in that direction, and Hyun was very surprised at that moment. He immediately remembered the words of the girl who had said that he could not tell anyone where the grass grew. He was embarrassed, but slowly turned around and tried not to show surprise. Ramwen was also surprised. She asked, What kind of grass was it? Her friend replied, that it was an item for an assignment, just what he was looking for. Han was shocked, wondering how she could know what he needed because he hadn't told anyone. Ramwajon told Hyun not to worry, because he could tell the players. Did they think he was acting strange because he thought they were trying to steal his weed, like he thinks they're thieves? The Ramwajon girl said that she watched him from a distance and she saw him kill the monster with one blow. Hen turned around and the girl kept asking how he did it. He hesitantly replied that he must have been lucky, but the girl Ramhaven said that this was very strange because he was in full health. So how did he manage to finish him off with one shot? Suddenly, information signs appeared in front of Heng. These were messages about achievements. The first was hunting a black rabbit, the second was the miracle of one punch, and the third was knowledge of weaknesses, all of which increased Heng's strength. At that moment, Han smiled and realized that the task was completed. Later, the three of them went to a bar to celebrate their successful return to the castle. Hen decided to ask them who they were. After all, even NPCs saluted them. The girls were surprised and asked if he really didn't know. The girl Ramwen began to tell me that her friend was in fifth place in the Azea rating and she was in ninth place. The girl Ramwen decided to introduce herself again, saying that she was a pyromancer, a fire mage, and her friend a cryomancer, an ice mage. Hen added that the title of pyromancer was really appropriate for someone who was always running away. The girl responded by getting angry, saying that it was her class that was called that way and she could not do anything about it. As a result, she took a large mug, some kind of drink, and told Han to tell me how he managed to kill a black Angus with one shot. Hen answered in a very interesting way. He said that he had shot, otherwise the black rabbit died. The girl started to get angry that he was answering like that, she asked him not to play the fool. A girl named Ramwen got up and came up to him and asked him with pretensions what level he was, because to kill a monster like that, he must have a high level. Her friend added that it was an instant kill. Meanwhile, Hen continued to be silent. Suddenly the girl, Ramwai Jong, started saying that Hyun was at level six, that his agility was fifty-five, his musket, was of poor quality, and his attack power was. She added that even with critical damage, he could not kill a Black Angus with one shot, so it could only be an instant kill. Hen was shocked. How did that girl know all his characteristics, items, and skills? Ramwen was furious because she remembered that at the time of the fight, Hen was not the sixth level, but only the fifth level. She did not understand how this was possible. The girl Ramhwejon said 
that in order to kill a Black Angus with one blow, you need to be a swordsman or a warrior, and at least at the ninetieth level. After he said that, Hen was a little surprised himself, and he never stopped being surprised by everything that was happening there. At that moment, he remembered the achievement he had received after the death of the rabbit, the miracle of one stroke of the Black Angus. Now he understood what kind of instant killing the girl was talking about. But at that moment, the two girls moved on to some other discussion that Hen again did not understand. They started saying the word, pass, and Hen immediately began to wonder what it could mean. Suddenly, the girl Ramway sat down and said she had something to tell him. She stood up abruptly and asked him if he would like to join their guild. She began to praise the girl Ramway Jong, that she was very famous and that she was ninth in the world ranking, and of course she was the head of the guild. Hen was a little incredulous that they were taking a level six player and that he was wearing clothes for a beginner. The girls replied that he could always level up and they would give him clothes of the best level for him. Heng modestly asked that he did not know how many resources they had, and before he could even finish, the Ramway girl shouted that they had a lot of resources. She approached him and asked him if he realized what it meant to have their leader ranked ninth in the world, to which Hyun immediately replied that he refused their offer. He added that his mother taught him not to take sweets from strangers. The girl, Ram Huijon, drank the drink calmly and said that his mother had raised him well. She said that would he really refuse such a wonderful offer, even though he was famous as their head? The head calmly continued to drink the drink, and her friend asked Hing if he even knew what rank he was in their guild. Hing said that he was probably quite high. Han decided to tell them that he needed to think about it, because maybe they would have an even better offer for him. At this, the Ramway girl's eyes failed with anger. But after a moment, she brightened up and said that it would probably be better than blindly agreeing. She told him to contact them if he changed his mind. She then asked if he could at least friend them. To this suggestion, Han replied positively. Immediately afterwards, she started calling her friend and said she would pay the bill for the meal, and once again she decided to thank him for saving her. While the Ramway girl was paying the bill, Hyun noticed that the Ramway Jong girl was looking at him strangely. He asked her if she was not leaving, and she seemed to have decided to charm him and very gently said, See you later, and at the end added the phrase, Opa. Hen was shocked again because he had never been exposed to girls, because he went to an all-boys school and then joined the army, so he didn't understand what the phrase Opa meant. When those girls left, he breathed a sigh of relief and couldn't believe how fantastic his first task had been. But now it was time for the reward. He went to give the rabbit back, and the woman was very surprised that he was able to do it. Hen asked her to give him all the tasks in the future, and the woman immediately agreed because she saw him as a very responsible boy. Immediately afterward, he received a message that he had completed the task and received a reward of 15% improvement in his relationship with that woman and everyone in the castle, as well as 90 copper coins. After that, he gave the claws to the Black Angus. The man was delighted. He said he would make a very strong weapon out of them, and Hen politely wished him good luck in that endeavor. Immediately after that, he received a message that he had completed the quest. He again improved his relationship with the weapons vendor and all the NPCs in the castle, and he received 80 copper coins and gained a new level. The woman who needed the skin also thanked Hen very much for the quality of the work, and Hen was very pleased. Again, a message appeared that he had improved the relationship again, and as a reward, he received new clothes. He also raised his bargaining skill to the third level. Hen was very happy because he was able to get a new armor, and he was very happy with the fact that all the NPCs in the city 
became very friendly with him. After that, Hen quickly went to the bakery, and he walked in so quickly that the girl didn't even realize that he was the one she was giving the assignment to. But in a moment she recognized him and gladly invited him inside, and Hen immediately noticed that it smelled very good. She immediately offered him the pie she had just baked, and Hen said he didn't want to spend money, but the girl was a little offended that he had taken her offer in such a way because she had offered him the pie for free. She told him to take his time and eat quietly, because he probably hadn't even had time to eat breakfast. Hen politely thanked her for her kindness. The other players were very surprised at the NPC's kindness. After a moment, she asked him if he had brought the herbs she had asked him to get. Hen happily took out a bag of those herbs and showed them to her. She took that bag and started to get very happy, and Hen was a little surprised because he didn't understand what was so special about those herbs. He said, Is that herb really that good? Immediately after that, he received a message saying that he had completed the task and improved his relations with all NPCs again and also received. Thirty copper coins. The girl began to answer him that he could not smell the wonderful aroma that came from the pastries she had baked. Heng replied that for him it was just a simple herb that grew under the rabbit's feces. Later he left the place and thought that the girl had tired him a bit and he had eaten quite a bit of that bread and for some reason lost some health points. After that he went to the establishment to the big woman and she was happy to see him and said that the rumors were true. Hen thought that he could not get used to her size, and he asked what kind of rumor she was talking about. She said that nothing could be hidden in that castle because she even knew about his very successful hunt. Hen was surprised that the whole town was talking about him. When he gave her the meat, she didn't even check it, and Hen asked her, why she didn't want to check the quality of the meat. The aunt replied that there was no need because she was dealing with him and trusted him. When she took out the piece of meat, she was even more impressed with its quality. She was so pleased that she immediately paid him fifty copper coins and said that she would cook for him in addition. He was happy to hear this proposal, but said that it would probably take a long time. But my aunt said she could do it quickly, but she would need something. He was offered a new task. He had to make an effort to create a new menu for that restaurant. He had to get golden eagle meat. His aunt said that she was sure that he would cope with the task. She repeated that she needed the meat of a golden eagle that lives not far in the mountains. It was the last task in Kendall Castle. The boss was a golden eagle, but there was one restriction. You had to be level 10 to start that task. Hyun listened carefully and noticed that the reward was again a box lunch. His aunt told him that as he knew Kendall Castle, it was a rather small town. She said that she wanted to open a second store in the capital and needed golden dragon meat for that. Hen thought that he had no choice but to complete the task and immediately thought of the developers of the game because this method is very similar to corruption. Later, a lunchbox appeared on the counter, a reward for Hen for the previous task, and he immediately wondered if everything in that box was edible. But suddenly, he noticed something and got very excited. This is because it was a special boxed Black Angus lunch. It was very tasty, but most importantly, it gave a constant increase in agility and endurance. Hen was very happy because... It was exactly what he needed. The aunt added that it was not ordinary food because it came from a special magic oven. In addition, that lunchbox was at a perfect level. He immediately began to think, using the example of an endurance ring improved by plus seven, that such a ring is worth three million won if sold very cheaply, and Han thought about how much he could earn if he sold that lunchbox. But suddenly, he notices a label that was attached to that box. It turned out that the box had a peculiarity and could not be sold. 
He was very disappointed. He couldn't understand why he couldn't sell that thing. It doesn't count as equipment, and there are no restrictions on its use. The aunt decided to ask Heng's opinion about the reward she gave him. Did he like it? Hung turned around and told her that it was the best reward. But in fact, he was disappointed. But he pulled himself together and thought that this reward was better than nothing and that he should be more modest because he could get nothing at all. Then the woman reminded him of the golden eagle and Hen, as a true soldier, said that he would get it as soon as possible. He left that building and in the end he was satisfied because he had completed all the tasks. While he was walking, he decided to take a look at his own performance and he managed to reach the eighth level and improved his skills quite well. While he was sitting there, he thought that he would be able to get other tasks only after the tenth level he had only two levels left. If he catches that eagle, he can leave that Kendall castle. At that moment, he decided to try what was in that box, and he immediately noticed that the food had a very wonderful smell. In an instant, a light of blessing appeared around him, and all the other players immediately paid attention to him. The taste of that food made him cry with happiness, and he thanked those who developed that game for the opportunity to experience such a wonderful taste, that meat was as good as real meat. At that very moment, his data improved. He felt such a surge of energy that he thought he could catch a few more black rabbits, but to get this task, he needed to raise his level. After he has eaten, he is ready to go hunting, but before he does, he decides to look in the shelter. When he looked, he was disappointed because he needed to buy materials for his musket again. He had only five sets left. He said to the developers that at this rate, all musketeers would become extinct. He went to the store and thought that since he was so famous, he might get a discount. When he came in, he said he came to buy gunpowder, and the seller was just lying on the couch, looking at him. The salesperson stood up and said a few words of greeting. Han thought that the level of kindness had risen by 15%, and that the salesman was selling to the floor. The seller said that Hen's clothes had changed, so he would probably take eight sets instead of seven. He also added that one set is 18 silver coins. Hen decided to ask if the price hadn't changed. The seller coldly replied that it could not have changed. The seller even came back and said why they needed musketeers at all. At that moment, Hen noticed the defective product and thought that there was only one musketeer in that village. He thought that he needed to think about contingencies and take more kits and said he needed 23 kits. While he was looking for money, he calculated that he needed four silver and 14 copper coins. The seller said that if he needed 23 sets, he was doing better. But suddenly, that salesman abruptly approached him and asked what kind of smell he was smelling. The seller started touching Heng, and Heng told him, scared, that he had recently eaten a meat lunch. The salesman said that it was not the smell of meat. The man went crazy from the smell, and Hen was even frightened by the look on his face. But then the man realized that it might be bread, and suddenly the seller noticed the bread, and he immediately asked if it was plain bread. Hen was surprised that the seller was interested in the bread, and in a moment he decided to take advantage of this opportunity and began to tell me that the bun he had in his bag was made with spider herbs. After the seller heard about the herbs, he became even more eager to get the bun. He could not help but ask that Hen give him a piece for fifty copper coins. Hen calmly replied that he had had a very hard time getting the bun and was not ready to give it away for fifty copper coins. The vendor offered one silver coin, and immediately after that, Hen said, that he was ready to give the bun away for five silver coins. With great effort, the seller turned around and said that for that price he might not eat, 
although he was salivating. Then Hen came up with a good idea and decided to activate the bargaining skill. When this skill is activated, the probability of making a successful deal increases by 21%. As the vendor was leaving, Heng began to say that he had heard a rumor that the spider bun was very tasty. At that moment, Hen thought that he had failed to re-engage the salesman because he had not responded to his words. But suddenly, the vendor turned around and said that it was very difficult to get a bun with such herbs. Hen thought that the man had finally reached a critical point. When he approached again, Hen asked him how much he was willing to pay. The vendor replied that he was willing to give two silver coins. Hen said that for such a rare bread it was too little, and the seller added that he would add a few more sets of gunpowder. Hen thought about it and started to calculate how much one set costs. After a moment, he had a good idea and said that the seller should give him a hundred sets of gunpowder. The vendor really wanted the bread, but a hundred loaves was too much for him, so he asked Hen to reduce the number to seventy loaves. Hen agreed to this condition, but added another condition that the seller introduce Hen to a direct supplier of gunpowder. After that, Heng took off his helmet and left the game. He was in a very good mood because he had made the most profitable bet of his life. He started to move in his wheelchair towards the TV and said that he needed to try harder to earn more money and even so that he could help his parents. He sat down and started watching the news because he might have heard something important. While he was watching the news, he decided to eat and the news was just starting to talk about the Midrose game. And the first news was that the top ten players in the rankings had changed. They also said that one player who was very famous was seen in Kendall Castle. Her name was Ramwajan, and she was an ice mage. Hen watched the news with great interest, and they also said that another very famous player had also appeared with that girl. That girl was a fire mage, and her name was Ramwen. She was the eldest daughter of the second largest company in Hong Kong, Ramlong. According to their data, this is one of the strongest companies in Hong Kong, and those reporters were very interested in the fact that two very strong players were in the city for newcomers. According to initial information, they arrived to hire one Korean user, but the news said that the identity of that player was not disclosed, and Han thought that that information could be about him, and he was glad that they didn't have his photo, and he remained a secret. Just as he was about to breathe a sigh of relief, there was additional information that that player was using a long weapon. It looked like a musket. After he heard this information, Hen tensed up very much. From such shocking information, he fell out of his chair and thought he was lost. After that, Hen rested a bit and sat down at the computer again. He noticed that a video of the two girls and him had appeared on the internet. It was posted two hours ago and had already received more than two million views. Hen read the comments, and they started discussing him as if he were the secret man they were meeting. But those commentators wrote that the man didn't look like a strong player. They figured that maybe he dressed like that on purpose, so that no one would suspect anything. Hen thought it was good that they didn't believe he was a strong player. He thought about the offer that those girls made him. He realized that with their help, he would quickly get pumped up. But he also realized that there would be good conditions there, and it was suspicious to him. But he remembered how the girl Rav Shaven had behaved, and if he refused their offer, he would feel bad. So he decided that he needed to raise his level first. A little time passed, and Hen completed the task and delivered the fox skins to the customer. The man was surprised that Hen had done it so quickly. He received a message that the task was completed, and he received many bonuses again, but notice that the level did not rise. The captain started to talk about another task, but Hen beat him to it 
and said he meant wolves. The captain wondered how Hen knew about the next task. Now he had to kill the wolves that were coming down from the mountains. He had to collect ten wolf skins. It also said that the reward would include a ticket to have his weapon repaired, and Hen was surprised because he didn't know that such a thing existed. The captain said that indeed his weapon would need to be repaired soon. He set off on his new assignment in a good mood. From that place he is advised to find a group, but it is not an easy task. He imagined a situation where he would be in a group and thought that it would be very good, because the reason for his long recharge was that he was recharging, so he decided not to look for a group for now. It is bad that wolves do not move alone, so he decided to wait for the moment when one wolf gets separated from the group. While he was lying in ambush, he thought that he had used up 13 sets of bullets on the foxes, and he had 71 sets of bullets left. His plan was to use 11 sets of bullets on the wolves, then raise the level to the tenth, and then take the golden eagle. Hen began to crawl forward and thought that for some reason there were no wolves anywhere, let alone those who had broken away from the group. Suddenly he notices a group of players. They said they had found wolves and were passing them to the tank to take the hit. There were four of them, one tank, one healer, and another fire mage, and a lightning mage. While the tank took the attack on himself, the fire and lightning mages began to attack the wolves, and the healer, for safety, began to heal. Hen began to envy them as the wolves fell one by one. He was a little disappointed that things weren't going so well for him, so he decided to look for lone wolves elsewhere. Meanwhile, there was a single wolf nearby that did not seem to have a group. The wolf had red eyes, and he was exactly what Hen needed. While the wolf was doing his natural work, Hen was slowly approaching him. He got ready and said that he would now show the result of his training, and first he opened a bag of gunpowder. The next step was to pour gunpowder into the ignition point and into the muzzle. Then I had to blow into the muzzle. After that, you had to tap the butt of the rifle on the ground so that the powder would settle well. While the wolf was sitting still, Hen began to take aim to hit the target. He also thanked the commander of the serials because he managed to load the weapon in one minute. The time had come he took in air and held his breath, and in a moment there was a loud shot. Hen was lying in the grass, and the grass around him turned in different directions from the blast wave. It was very strong, and in a second that bullet reached the wolf, and he jumped up the hill and roared very loudly. Immediately afterward, the wolf fell to the ground and did not move, and Hen thought that the Odin was ready. But in a moment another wolf was standing near the body of the fallen wolf. He seemed to be very angry that Hen had shot his fellow soldier. He thought this was very interesting, because where could he have been hiding without Hen noticing him? Next, Hen thought that his musket had very little health, and that if he got into a melee, the musket might just disappear. He quickly took out another set, and thought that the wolf would give him just a minute. He tried to complete all the steps as quickly as possible, and all he had to do was take aim, and he was ready. But a moment later, Min notices that the wolf is standing still and not approaching. This alarmed him greatly, but why did the wolf not approach him? But suddenly, the wolf began to move in one direction in a circle, but did not approach. Hen immediately realized that he was out of range, and he also thought that it was the game developers who had built in such features that those monsters were very smart. It became much harder, because the target now runs from side to side. Hen also realized that if the wolf moved from left to right, he could dodge it even at a very short distance. He has the idea to move away a little bit, and thus attract the wolf's attention so that it stops walking in circles. But he realizes that he cannot take the prey. In this case, he had no other choice. Suddenly, Hen screamed very loudly. He screamed, yes, damn it! It was a shot. As loudly as he could, he wanted to provoke the wolf to come closer. 
It seemed that the wolf was getting angry at Hen's behavior. Immediately after that, he started growling very loudly and slowly coming to the front. And just a moment later, with very quick movements, he approached and jumped up the mountain to attack Hen. The wolf's attack was lightning fast, but Hen kept his finger on the trigger the whole time. And again, in an instant, a very strong shot rang out, and the resulting smoke blocked the view for two seconds. That wolf was at a distance of one and a half meters at the time of the attack, and it was possible to see how the bullet passed through it, but not in the center. Hen sighed and said, It's good that they die, even if they are slightly hit by a shot. His plan worked because the wolf thought that a shot had already been fired, but it was a ruse. After this hunt, Hen was in a good mood and began to look for other wolves with a smile. But suddenly, a large shadow appeared behind him. As he sat down to pick up the item, a voice was heard asking Hung, with admiration, how he did it. Hen calmly turned around and asked if it was another player asking, but when he looked closely, he noticed that they were some very strange creatures. They approached him very unexpectedly, and he was frightened and thought that they were monsters that needed to be destroyed. But those supposedly monsters were scared and asked him not to shoot, because they were not monsters, but players. Hen was surprised, but remembered that he had seen them on the homepage, the lizard man, and the druid. In a moment, he turned around and said, that he was leaving because he needed monsters. But the lizard started shouting at him to wait. When Hen stopped and they came up to him, he apologized for mistaking them for monsters. The two said that it was not a bad thing because they were used to it. After a moment, the lizard player started to say that he had one question. Does Hen hunt alone? Hen replied that he was hunting alone and immediately noticed that he had a very strange expression on his face. Then the lizard decided to say that if they had the same levels, would Hen like to go hunting with them? At that moment, Hen was even a little scared, but he asked them if they wanted to form a group. Those players said that they were at level nine, and the wolves they hunt only go in threes, so it's a little difficult for them to hunt in twos, 